So, my CYC bike. There have been a few people asking me about the CYC bike, so I thought I would update on the current state of play. As you can see, it's currently off the road as I've run into some problems, and that's resulting in some pretty severe overheating of the motor unit, which is down here. And that's a real shame because I was having a really good time riding the bike to my new work. And the ride involved a long sustained five kilometer climb. And I guess um, on a particularly hot day, I did the run and the bike just, or well, the motor started to behave very differently. Like I got some extra top speed on it. And when I got there, it was red hot, like well over 60 degrees, like you burn your hand on it. And there was molly grease leaking from around the, the motor casing where the gearbox was. Um, so anyway, I got on the, uh, on the messenger to CYC and, uh, well, I'll, uh, I'll show you what they told me. So why is it that I'm getting these overheating problems? Well, it's probably easiest to explain it with a bit of history on the rotor and the motor itself for the CYC X1. Now, a motor works with a rotor with pole pairs of magnets around the outside and that spins on bearings when an electrical current is passed through the windings which go around the out here and they're just coils of wire, uh, copper wire I think, um, and an electrical current is passed through them in three phases which is the reason why you have the three wires and that causes the rotor or the magnets to act on the magnets and causes it to spin. And in the beginning um, the motors had rotors that looked like this um, and what was happening or at least in one case and I'm going to post a little clip here of the motor that it happened to um, in one case one of these magnets came unglued at high rpm like 13 14 15,000 rpms and I mean well the results are predictably catastrophic once the motor is you know, loose and all the magnets, sorry, is loose inside the casing in here and like crushing around, basically turning into dust and a big mess. So COIC changed the style of the rotor to incorporate uh, a metal casing, top and bottom. And you can actually see the metal casing here on, on this motor. Um, and you can also see it on the motor that was in on the bike. And the problem is, is that this can now cause contact issues with the stator, which is what runs around the outside, and that's causing overheating. And it was believed, or I was told that it was only high RPMs where this issue was occurring. So I thought, well, you know, if I just keep it at 52 volts and 8,500 RPMs max, it, it, it's not gonna be a real issue for anything. Um, and I'd been riding in mainly cold conditions and I hadn't noticed anything. But as soon as it started to get really, really hot here, that's when I noticed the issues on like a really, really high climb. And a guy on my Discord actually gets his unit to thermally throttle itself, you know, which takes north of 90 degrees C. So there's definitely some way to go. But if I'm already pissing molly grease out the side of my unit, you know, at much less temperatures, I really don't want to do this. So um, I'm going to get this issue sorted out. I mean, CYC did actually send me um, an original motor core. Um, so this is the original, original style um, of motor core here. And I'm going to be using it or wanted to use it on a different project, which hasn't really got off the ground yet. Um, but I'm going to be replacing these two motor cores here. Um, what not might call um, these two rotors in this motor and this motor. So I have two of those which CYC have sent out. So I'm going to be videoing that and we'll get those switched over. I should add before people start kind of panicking about this one on Gen 2. This is not, the, the rotor on the Gen 2 has gone back to the glued version. Um, so there's going to be no sort of tolerance issues there. And that's really what it came down to is that by putting a jacket on the rotor, you've slightly increased its size and the tolerance or between the stator and the rotor, it, it's so fine. And then it's just making very light contact. But it's gonna be really interesting when I take this motor apart 
because it's been, you know, it's probably had 2,000 kilometers on it in its guise with the back 800. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see what's inside of this um, and what the state of the gearbox is in. Um, let's look at the, uh, this is, yeah, I mean, it's pretty dirty, but it's still looking like the teeth are still looking okay. And I've seen some of these that have been absolutely shredded. So however I've been riding, it's been reasonably, reasonably kind to this one. Um, Cause I actually have a hardened gear. Where is it? Yeah, I have the hardened version of the gear now to, uh, to replace this with, which I might need if I'm going to be running it at, uh, I think I'll try maybe 60 volts, 66 volts, something like that. Maybe, maybe try the 72. So if I'm honest, I'm a bit bummed that I've got to A, take it all off the bike and put it back on the bike again, because I've done that a bunch anyway. And I thought I was done. I thought I was happy with this bike at 52 volts and I can move on to other projects and try the other motor at 72 volts. And yeah. But anyway, look on the positive side. You guys are going to get to see me rip apart two motors and see what's going on inside. And we can see the kind of wear that this Gen 1, you know, has taken over, you know, about eight months of use and, you know, 2000 kilometers or so with the back 800. So that's going to be fun. And if I can get these rotors in and running, it should also let us experiment a bit with you know, higher voltage with the back 855 on this bike. So maybe I could push it to 60 volts. But yeah, the other good fun part will be, I get to take this to a guy called Tony. And he used to be a helicopter maintenance guy, I think for military helicopters. And he's got this huge garage and he's got tools that repair tools pretty much. So he's gonna have anything I could possibly need and more to get these apart really cleanly. And we'll take lots of good video and yeah, we'll have some fun with it. All right, cheers.